When we learn about weathering in geology, things are weathered two different ways. The first way is either physical or mechanical weathering, means the same thing, different texts use different terms. Um, and the second type is going to be chemical weathering. So let's first look at physical and mechanical weathering. So this just means that the material is actually broken down. So only the size is affected. So there's some kind of impact or something has happened that's caused a breakdown in size. So we think about this on an everyday basis. If you took a rock and you hit it with a hammer and it smashed into a bunch of pieces, that would be a physical or mechanical weathering. Or even um, for the materials around your home, as you scratch things or as things get broken into pieces, the dish gets dropped and broken, that would be physical or mechanical weathering of that. Now in geology, um, this happens in the form of things like sand being blown over a surface and kind of sand blasting and chipping away at a rock. That's a really small, subtle example. But also we have things like tree roots that grow into rock and break it apart. Or even when water falls into cracks and it freezes, it expands and it cracks that rock apart. So things like that are ways that rocks are naturally, physically or mechanically weathered. Now let's look at chemical weathering. So chemical weathering happens as a result of the exposure to fluids and um, gases, so air, water, things like that in nature. And so with chemical weathering, the important part is that there's actually a chemical change, so a chemical reaction. And so one of the easiest things to think about with this is going to be um, rusting. So we see that in our everyday life around our house or in our home, anything with metal tends to rust and it's called oxidation. And um, we have our iron that turns in to the kind of this red powdery state called rust. That's a chemical change um, and a way we think about chemical weathering. Now, if we think about this in nature, we think about things like rocks are exposed to moisture and to air all the time. And so if we think about the Arizona landscape, it's a very red, um, kind of reddish look to it. Um, the Grand Canyon, if you're familiar with that, lots of reds in there. And what's actually happened is those rocks, the iron in them has oxidized, so chemically changed into a different state and caused kind of that rusting um, in that rock material. So that's a perfect example of chemical weathering in nature.